So just wanted to shoot a little video since everybody's on lockdown and there's not much to do right now. Uh, proportioning valves, in particular the Wildwood proportioning valve I bought for Project Turbo LS behind us here. Now the reason I bought it is because I installed an 8.8 .8 inch rear end from a Mustang and then I modified it to with, for 31 spline axles and I also uh, put Explorer disc brakes on the back or the disc brake system and I'll show you that in a second. Now the Explorer, Explorer rear end has 11.5 inch rotors and this car in the front, I'll show you in a second, came with 10.5 inch rotors or actually 10 inch on the front so they're super small and originally it had a 7.5 inch rear end which you can see in the background there and disc brake or drum brakes. So basically the master cylinder designed for uh, front discs, albeit small ones and drum brakes in the back and I'll show you what I did here to uh, hopefully make everything work and a cheaper methodology than having to buy a new master cylinder and stuff like that to make uh, the brakes work. So anyways I'll change it to the next scene like right here right now. Hang on one second and then I'll show you exactly what's going on. Okay so anyways as you guys know this is Project Turbo LS. So previous video I uh, re-drilled the uh, four lug factory 10 inch discs for a five lug 4.5 bolt hole circle. It's in a previous video so that, that all works with a factory system. So that's a 10 inch rotor behind here. And hard to see here but anyways I modified this rear end to, uh, so I could bolt on the 11.5 inch rotors from the uh, Ford Explorer. So I kind of took two rear ends and made one. And I can go into that in a later video how I did that. So this has got 11.5 inch discs on the back. And again, 10 inch discs on the front. So let's go over here. And this is the Willwood proportioning valve I installed, as you can see here. And I installed it where I installed it so we have easy access from uh, once the hood is up and we can basically adjust the, uh, the front to rear brake bias very easily because we had a nice convenient location. Uh, as you can see, the in is the in from the master cylinder is right here. And it's a little bit higher than the master cylinder, as you can see. But then the out goes to the factory proportioning valve down there. Now, the factory proportioning valve is set up from the factory to actually activate the, uh, the front brakes first and then the disc brakes after that. And there's also a little more pressure going to the to the front than the rears because the rears being drums would lock up prematurely. So that's already built in there. So what we've done in effect is we've installed a proportioning valve just to further that uh, inequality between uh, the size of the brakes with what we got here. So hopefully it'll work. Uh, we'll see. And when the knob is turned all the way out, the instructions say that uh, basically what happens is there's a reduction in pressure to the rear system by 57% and all the way in is basically equal pressure to both front and rear systems. So basically I kind of got it in the middle there so we'll see what happens when we get everything working. And then one further note, since this is at a higher level here, what I had to do to get the fluid to uh, flow initially and uh, start filling up the, the back disc brakes is I had to disconnect it from the uh, from the fire from the fender wall right there, and move it down a little bit, and then get the fluid flowing, as a, because again the master cylinder is a little bit higher or lower than the proportioning valve. But once everything's flowing and you actually apply pressure to the pedal, it works fine, and uh, basically the, the brakes actually feel really good right now without the uh, vacuum assist of the. Uh, the brake booster back there. So we'll see how everything works and we're going to be using a, uh, a vacuum pump anyways with this system since this is a boost tool application. So we'll see how that goes. And again, the proportioning valve, I think I got this thing from, from Amazon, $28. Uh, pretty cheap and it uh, looks like it'll work. Well, we'll all see, we'll hope it works. So uh, uh, again, saving a little bit of money here because all the all the information on the internet says if you run this in the bracket, you have to get a master cylinder that has equal equal size because you're pushing more volume into the uh, 
the disc brake calipers versus the volume required to actuate the piston on the drum brakes. So that's why you see here that uh, the front section is smaller than the rear section because the rear section is for the front brakes on this car, which are discs from the factory. And again, the, uh, the smaller section there uh, going to the proportion valve now was for the original factory drums. So we have, a, we have less volume. So we, we're gonna kind of uh, see if this works here, and I think it will, by retaining the same master cylinder. And uh, I'll make a second part to this video and uh, show you how we can adjust this thing on the fly when we've got everything going. So as you can see here guys, uh, nice easy access proportioning valve location. So again, all the way in gives it uh, equal flow or pressure to front system and rear system. And then all the way out will give it uh, 50%, 57% less pressure to the rear as compared to the front. So there you go, so that's all the way out now. And again, I picked this location because it's easy access, so once we're rolling we can uh, definitely adjust as we go and we can test it and it's, uh, we don't have to jack the car up or anything. So there it is, Willwood proportioning valve. Alright guys, so there's a little video on the, uh, the Willwood proportioning valve I just installed. Um, again, hopefully that works without having to uh, replace or buy a different master cylinder uh, since we've now got We've now got uh, disc brakes on all the rear and the front. 11.5 again in the rear and 10 inch factory ones in the front using our stock master cylinder with, purport with the proportioning valve. So we'll see how that all works out when I make a second part of this video once this car is going. And again guys, thanks for watching uh, Project Turbo LS. We're all locked down so there's nothing to do. That's why I'm making more videos. Uh, so hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks again.